Uh, oh. Now what am I gonna wear? Well, you snooze, you lose. Yeah, well, you look better in it anyway. Here you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I guess we should have told the families about the uh, wedding, huh? No. No, they were all spun out over Adam. I just have to make sure that I get to my parents before Abby does. Mm, Sister Smack? The Newman and her picked exactly the wrong time to come out, didn't it? It's funny because I thought she took more after her Uncle Billy, the tabloid king. Hey, 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 hey. At least she kept her mouth shut as far as I can tell. I didn't get any messages. And um, hey, you only got... that's hey, mine. Oh, it's community property, baby. I gotta <laughs> get to the ranch. Want me to come with you? <sighs> okay, just thought I'd ask. Huh. Well, it's bad enough being your wife. I'm really not in the mood to be your widow. Oh, baby, that's just the sweetest thing you ever said to me, sober. Fine, have it your way. <clears throat> Oh, I must admit, I really want to see the look on Victor's face when he told him about this. Like, get dressed. Well, actually, this is my place. This is my daughter. Well, she's not actually underdressed, un under duress. Not helping. I not know. really helping. What were you thinking? Marrying this idiot? She doesn't have to defend herself to you. You're lucky you're not picking up your teeth off the floor, oh, sir. Dad, please, don't do this, please. How do you think I'm going to react? You're marrying this degenerate playboy. You were reacting exactly like I thought you were going to react, which is why I didn't tell you in the first place. Oh, listen, you're fighting for custody of your son. Oh. Have you forgotten that? Don't even bring up Reed to me, okay? I would have him back right now. If you hadn't pulled that stunt with JT in and, and tried to keep him out of the court, this wouldn't have happened in the first You're place, angry Dad. you with me. This is payback. Is no, that what it is? No, no, no. You act like an adult, not a juvenile. You're not 16, for heaven's sake. You have a son who depends on you to act like a mother, not like a juvenile. Pack your things. Let's go. The hell I am. I'm not going anywhere with you. I'm not 16 anymore, so I don't need you barging in here trying Victoria, to rescue me. What has myself, happened to you? That's not. Well, you're, you're out of control. She's out of your control. Would you please shut up? Who are you trying to punish with this? By going to bed with well, this? Well, we're not hurting anyone, Dad, which is a lot more than you can say. He's going to humiliate you. Don't you understand that? That's oh, what he does for a living. No, you are so wrong. Don't you understand that he thinks this is the perfect revenge against me? For the damage that he thinks I've done to his family? He's using you, girl. Well, that is not what he's, he's doing. He's using you! No, he's not! Why do you think he's doing this? Because I'm in love with your daughter. Are you blind? You can't see anything? Am I what? Are you blind? You can't see anything? We're gonna go outside now? Do you want to do that? Don't you tempt me, boy. Don't you tempt me. Well, that was a lot of fun. I'm in love with your daughter? Are you out of your mind? I have married into a very, very violent family. I, I believe it. I really can't. What? What? I didn't do it. I just you, told him to, to back off. You told him that you love me. You're trying to push him over the edge? No. All right. Are you saying that you meant it? No. Oh, okay. So then you were just trying to rattle his cage. I thought it would be very funny. Ha, ha, ha. No, I... What are you, no, you worried about his feelings for? I'm not, it just makes my life a lot more difficult, that's all. Look, it just blurted out, okay? It just came out. What about you? You practically told him that you only married me to piss him off. Well, I never said that. I was standing right there before I was standing over there. I never said that. Okay, you know what? He's right. 
You are an idiot. Hey. Sorry, just slipped out. <clears throat> Looking at it, I, I can't believe what I'm saying. What did they say when you confronted them? Nothing that excuses their behavior. So, did you belittle her and attack him? Would you have had me throw a party for them? No, of course not. It's classic Billy. Reckless, immature. You tell him. I intend to. You know, Victor, I just wish you could find a different way of speaking with your daughters. Maybe not talk at them, maybe talk to them so they don't feel so alienated all the time. Ah, so I gather from that that you were more successful with Abby. No. Okay. He definitely was not more successful. You made a big mistake. Oh, really? Like I didn't know that. Every instinct I had told me to stay away from you. Oh, yeah? Well, why didn't you? I'm asking myself the same question. Oh! What are you doing in there? I don't know. I, I can't freaking turn around without knocking something over. It's like a coffin in here. <sighs> Billy. Yes, sweetheart? <sighs> Your doorknob is broken. I know that, Schnookums, too. Remember when I told you not to shut the door all the way? Would you please um, get me out of here? I don't know. Every instinct I have is telling me to leave you in there because you're mean. Get me out! Okay. Okay, I just need a screwdriver. I really thought things couldn't get any worse. Well... If there's anything you should have learned about hanging out with me, is that things can always get worse. What's worse than getting divorced is getting married. What's worse than getting married is having your dad find out and bust into my place like the morning after the prom. Oh, Hugh, are you kidding? You loved that. No, I didn't. <sighs> okay, maybe, maybe I did a little bit. Especially when he got up in his grill. That was awesome. It was like the cartoons. I mean, who's that little guy that always fights with the rooster? The chicken hawk? Yeah, the chicken hawk. You my little chicken hawk. I'm not your chicken hawk. Hey, don't don't be offended. It's a compliment. I mean, doesn't he always win? It's priceless. It's beautiful, and I will cherish it always. Hey, chicky, 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 chicky. Hey, chicky. Open sesame. Try it now. <sighs> Thank you. I'm sorry about that. And about before with your dad, you know, saying that I, um, what I said, you know, yanking his chain. So that's why you said it then? I don't, I don't know why I said it. I mean, I do things without thinking sometimes. I mean, you misses have it, all right? Anyway, I shouldn't have said that, not like that, not, not to your father. So, wait a minute, so you're sorry that you said it, or you're sorry uh, for how you said I, it? Can we just apologize? I apologize. Because can we just, just well, I'm confused, I'm all. sorry, okay? I don't know. I'm... I take it back. I wish it never crossed my lips, okay? I'll, it'll never happen again. Okay, then. You want some breakfast? I mean... No, thanks. That's all right. Um... I should have been gone a long time ago. Oh! Trying to give me a heart attack? What are you doing here? I thought you had places to go and people to see. I was a little worried about you getting stuck in here and there'd be no one to help you out. Well, thank you for the concern and the uh, hardware, but you might as well take it back. Really? Oh, yeah, I'm going to stick with this one. It seems like it's a little more trouble than it's worth, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, I almost have it figured out. And, and, it's got sentimental value, okay? I was actually thinking about getting it engraved. Victoria Abbott was here. You know, there's someone who doesn't love me. Who said that? I said that. That's right. Why'd you start listening to me anyway? It's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea. 
What am I supposed to do the next time I want to slam the door in your face? Pick a different door. And if you were smart, you'd pick a different guy. Yep. Probably I would do that, but I don't know. I'm okay with this one, I guess. Really? Yeah. Almost got you figured out. Yeah, well, I can guarantee you I'm not worth the trouble. Believe me, uh, you're not, but there's, um, I don't know, certain sentimental value, I guess. I thought maybe I might even have you engraved. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Victoria Abbott was here. Victoria Abbott? Huh? I'm starting to like the sound of that. How about you? A little. Uh-oh, going down. <laughs>